bass bees. So today, I have a double nook. One side failed, she didn't make it back. This side didn't make it back. The bees are getting over, that's probably why. So I'm pulling the divider and just letting them merge. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe and all that. So anyway, here's the fastest <laughs> combine on YouTube. So there's the divider board. This double nook has now become one hive. So now little Miss Queenie can come over and lay. We're starting to draw. Fixing to fill up the feeder for them. Let's see what they got going on. Oh, she got that laid up. Hope they don't do nothing with them. She's got a really nice pattern. This whole thing is filled. I don't know if you can see the larva in there. Just had some sunlight in my back. Maybe y'all can see. But she's got three day old larva, some are just hatching, and then eggs down here. Where you at, girl? So she got cat brood. Hasn't laid back in the bottom yet. Okay, so I'm gonna checkerboard this now that it's open. These double nooks, I don't know what it is, but they will flat draw comb. So she's laid in here. You can probably see on this black. You can see the eggs. She laid them two days ago. I just don't want to focus, does it? So they're laying over. There's our queen. Beautiful little Italian. Yeah, she looks good. Looks a lot like her mama. I might give this one a frame of brood. Cause uh I really like them genetics, I want to keep them going. Her mama is a brood monster. I mean, flat, get it done. Very impressive. Me and her mama have a uh, long relationship. She makes me so happy every time I look in the hive. She's on her third or fourth year now. I never had a queen last that long, and she is... Uh, Unreal. She's starting to slow down this season, sadly, but uh, that's why I wanted to get more queens off of her. So they got cat brood and larva. She's laid back in. So that's one, two, three. This is drone comb, I think. I put in here so they could use it as a food frame, so they'd have drawn comb. Yeah. And there's nothing in it. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Going to merge them. And then uh, feed them. Fill their feeder up for them. This hive. Or uh, excuse me. This frame. Getting some pollen. Off a of chicory. See that white pollen. That's off a of chicory. Oranges pollen. I'm not exactly sure what that's off of. We got some milkweed blooming. Possibly that's what it's off of. And we got some little something in the aster family. I'd be lying if I said I don't know what it is. I'd like to know. I've tried to find out actually. Okay, so we got that and that. I'm going to move that over 
and that cap brood. Put this framer drawn beside it so they can continue on. Flip feeder. Next gen. camera, watch what I'm doing. This is not a very good pour spout, it's filling everywhere. So, that smoker ain't helping, it's stirring the beads up. A couple of them fill in the feeder. comes one climbing out. So that's what I'm doing. Y'all don't forget to hit the like button. Fastest combine ever right there. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. It's John.